Okay, this is Matthew Duncan, my U.S. Marine son, and when he was, what, 12 years old, we bought the Air Gator? Uh, yeah. Maybe younger. So what was your typical, your typical jobs and experience with it? Um, good networking, notes, for, notes where and when I did what house and uh, scheduling people. Um, we put a sign out on the edge of the yard with the Air Gator was part of the main advertising and then the word of mouth with the... Uh, Returning customers who just wanted their the yards aerated, um, pretty friendly. Uh, walked up, would uh, do a job, and then would have a friend go walk down the houses and uh, ask if someone else wanted. We'd knock out you know, three houses in less than in three hours, and just it was just the the mere uh, scheduling of how to do it, and uh, it was really really good money and lots of fun uh, with friends, a good experience. So, uh, so what, can, what kind of money could you make with it? Uh, when I started, we, we were doing yards for 30, 30 bucks, 30 bucks pop, and then it went to 50, and then just kept going up and up because the uh, people were, were still willing to pay that for the job because the um, grass companies were charging what, hundreds and 120 bucks, and we were charging 75, and it's just a more of a convenience for them because we're very flexible. Okay, well, what's, what's the most money you made in one day? Um, I think in one day I did maybe. Uh, up to 10 yards, so 10 times, I think it was 50 at the time, is it's like 200... 500 bucks. 500 bucks, something okay. like that. It, it went about, by pretty quick. About Spent seven hours away. worth of work. Spin it. Yeah, yeah, seven or eight. It was very tiring. Got done with the day after climbing up hills behind the aerator. And it, was, yeah. it was pretty A lot of fun, good though, because you met a lot of neat people. Of course. Yeah. And, and one of our neighbors uh, had you sign a contract, too. Uh, Steve Galtney. So you learned about... Uh, the business, we charged him an extra $25 for uh, <laughs> contracting and negotiation fee because he was trying to teach me about business, so I taught him a thing about business. Well, good. So you, quite funny. So you made more money every time for his job because you did a contract with him? Just the one time. After that, he'd never wanted to pay the $25. Extra, so <laughs> he stopped hassling me. So what'd you do with the money uh, that you earned? Saved it or bought my, my car. Okay, so, what'd you, so what's this about, the car that... The in high school? Because he pretty much outfitted it exactly the way you wanted it? Yes. Because you could afford it. Well, it's been through a lot, but it's still running. It's still a good car. Okay, so you had a lot of fun off-roading. So uh, a lot of fun. It financed all your extra activities. Uh, yeah. <laughs> a lot of that. Well, did you spend your money more carefully than you did my money? Mm, yes. <laughs> really? <laughs> okay. Oh, good. All right, so what advice would you have for teenagers wanting to start a business? Um, know what you're willing to do, how much you're going to pay, you're going to ask to get paid for it, and, you know, uh, find your customer base and, and sell your product, sell what you got. And have fun doing it. Of course. Yeah, and meet lots of neat people. It's more fun to do it with friends, you know. I, I was hiring out friends. Really? During the aeration. Well, yeah, we'd have, I'd have two of my friends come over, and I'd have them actually do the aeration, and I'd be the one you know, calling the customers and saying, hey, we'll be over there in about two hours, walking around and, and, and asking if someone wanted their yard area. So it was, it was really, it, it was fun for them, and I, I just paid them. We split it almost half and half, but it was nice to have someone to do the work with you. So you were making money just walking around. Mm -hmm. Pretty smart. Good. Well, thanks, Matthew. You're welcome, Dad. Enjoy your time and your next, uh, your next tour.